this is one of my all-time favorite spots and times in Toronto. This is what I call the Parade of Bicycles. So what I noticed about the cycling scene here is when I got here, the guys you saw cycling or the girls you saw cycling were hardcore, generally like the cargo pants, rips and bandanas kind of people. Um, super competent, very fast. No way that you will ever see me passing one of these original courier type of people, which still exist, but I don't see them often because they're always like ahead of me. And when they do pass me by really fast, like I'm standing still, I edit right out of my piece. I'm not showing you that. Oh yes, and on Saturday, if you are in town on Saturday, I'm doing something really fun, which I would like my subscribers or my watchers to win from, not necessarily the randos on the street. What we're doing, or what I'm doing, is I'm going to take to the street with a few prizes, one of which is lion bearings, and then some small little skater-related trinkets, and I'm going to be looking for skaters. I will be the skater hunter, and I will be looking for you. If you want one of these prizes, I'd say look through my videos and find my favorite launch pad downtown, where I like to start from the most. It's not gonna be tough to figure it out. Oh yeah, time. It's going to be three o'clock on Saturday, and chances are I'm going from my launch pad down to the waterfront where I know I will find skaters. But some of them might not even say hi to me or they might blank me when I try to say, say hi to them. Toronto skaters are notoriously shy. So I would like it to be you. Come down, find me at the place you know I'm going to be around three o'clock. But do me a favor and do not approach me unless I am skating. Because then you're the skater hunter and that's not cool. Skater Hunter prizes are courtesy of Pro Skater's Place. Thank you very much, Pro Skater's Place. There is also a little skate-related good news on Queen Street West today, and that is this beautiful pavement. As you've noticed, there's no chance that I'm going to curb crawl on Queen Street West lately because there's construction fences, it's narrow in areas, it's very higgledy-piggledy, but now it looks, I think it's a little bit wider. I'll have access to this again. Oh shit. That reminded me of a very similar moment that I tried to manage a little more specifically. Oh shit. I think this time it worked. I just got down low and hoped not to catch the pack of backs on the tape. It's really close. I love this. You're gonna eat up in the Loblaws overlooking Queen Street West. You're like, boom, that's Queen Street West over here. And up here it is Loblaws. Not all is peachy keen though. The hideout is gone. And that is definitely to the detriment of the neighborhood. It sucks. So this place here actually has a really nice place to sit in the front. And they have a really good wine selection and the best french fries in Queen Street West. Stuck behind a fence still. This is the scene where I jumped over the table. And I met some of the staff and they're really cool. Over here we've got Lee. So Lee's got the tattoo parlor. He's got a legit boxing gym and some other business around King Street. Could he be the king of Queen Street? a little early because it's just my rain and I don't want to rain skates without a waterproof case. Okay, he's got rain. Seems like the kind of rain that's going to go away any second. It's been feeling like it's going to rain all day. So maybe that means that this is the culmination of the whole day and it's not going to let up. But there's a luminosity over here, luminescence. Boom. That begs to differ, right? Please tell me I'm right. Okay, we're back. That's good news. So if I was skater hunting right now, she would win the Lion Bearings, which are the grand prize of Skater Hunter on Saturday, July the 29th. That was a really timely little reminder. Thank you, uh, Roller Lady. Roller Girl. Roller Girl sounds better. Roller Lady. Yes, it's very proper. I only skate upright. 
This bike path is actually pretty busy in the winter time too. It's only when it's completely iced over that I've seen this with just a few people or like one person per minute. This is super used. This is the like 401 of Toronto. This is the one place in the world where I don't want to wipe out. I would do a wall punch here with my foot, but I won't. A wall punch with a foot. You know, you could probably call that something else. Like a kick, perhaps. Margin for error here and so yes, there will be trees here, but for now, I'm straight through. Okay, I'll have to take this one carefully. 